So for those of you who don't know, um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is possibly running for president. Now I know some of you guys are thinking, Woo! This guy's got some really good character. He's a great guy. He'll make an amazing president. But for the most part, I kind of agree. I think maybe, maybe he's going to be a good president. I don't know. <sighs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <sighs> Here's my beef with the whole situation. I feel like this is just continuing this idea of voting for a popularity contest. Now, work with me here for a second, okay? He might have great character, but he has absolutely zero experience in politics. Some people have made the argument that, well, a lot of companies like to hire not based off of experience anymore, but more off of character. And here's my argument, okay? Would you hire a guy who runs, the only experience he's ever had is running the McDonald's cash register all day long? And I'm not talking about hiring this guy to run McDonald's or like be a manager or something. I'm talking about CEO of like a cell phone store. And this guy wouldn't know shit about cell phones. All he'd know is about running the register at McDonald's. Hell, that might be a little too much experience. Because if you want to talk about relatable experience, there are a lot of people in the world who have relatable experience to being president. Mayor of a town has semi-relatable experience. Hell, Trump has more relatable experience because he runs a business. However, The Rock doesn't know shit about politics. I mean, you got to realize, like, the last president, Barack Obama, was, like, taught congressional law. Or constitutional law, sorry. So we've basically come to the point where we're just going to hire a guy because he's a nice guy. You're going to hire a guy to run the free world because you think he's a nice guy. Shut the, shut up. Shut your mouth. No. No. Now, that being said, I think The Rock is a great guy and he might make an excellent president. Here's why I will not 100% vote for this man. We started voting for Donald Trump, having a very little bit of experience. Now we're voting for Rock for no experience. We're on a slippery slope, fools. Slippery slope. Next thing you know, it's going to be Kim and Kanye 2020. Do you want this, people? Do you want Kim and Kanye 2020? Shut your damn mouths. Shut up now. And my final argument for not voting for The Rock is that means four years of no sweet-ass Rock movies. Four years, people. Because I have... People keep saying, anything is better than Donald Trump. Listen, okay? Kim and Kanye 2020 is not better than Donald Trump. It's just, it's more. But in my wildest dream, say The Rock did run for president. Now, by then, it's too late. I'm like, ah, ah. Say his opponents would be like Kim and Kanye. So it'd be like Kim and Kanye 2020, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson 2020. You know, those two run against. I love for the election to turn into like a wrestling match or like a pre-wrestling match. Like every debate, The Rock comes out. He's like, <sighs> every debate, his slogan will be like, "I'm gonna kick Putin and Kim Jones candy asses." <sighs> he's gonna have like a tag team match with Hillary. She's gonna come out and be like, "Ooh, ooh, yeah. She's gonna come up and they're both gonna like, like. The end of the match, like, Hillary's gonna be, like, holding up the belt, like, yeah, yeah, and then Trump's gonna come out, clothesline her ass, pin her down, take the belt, he's gonna be like, I'm still making America great again, all this crap was Obama's fault, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But seriously, God bless America, y'all. God bless America, and pray that we do not get Kim and Kanye 2020.